Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. So we're going to take a look at uh, doing a consistent image of someone's face today. In this case, I'm going to use mine and we're using Krita with AI Diffusion plugin. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'll leave a link below to how to create a uh, image of your face using Queer SS. Uh, that program is a little bit hard so this one's a little bit more for people that are uh, more advanced or have that computing skill behind them to do to create that model um you could go over and watch that video first and then if you feel confident come back over to this one but this one will also help with just in general of applying lauras to your um to your images and to your models which changes the entire thing so we'll go over to the intro and then we'll get on with the show. Okay, so we have the creator open up here with a image. Uh, and we want to come over and follow this line right here because it's going to be hidden under my uh, body. So if we keep following this over, we're going to come to some cogs at the end of it. I want to click on the cogs and it's going to open this up here. Once we have this open, we can click on the plus and then we can type in the name of our new style that we want to create or our uh, new model use. So we're going to call this one my face. Okay, once we've done this, we can select the model that we actually want to use it with. I have selected this model here, Realistic Vision, uh, which I have picked up from the Civet AI. We come down here to Laura, click on this folder here, little icon. We can drop our Lauras into here. So this can be styles. Uh, there are Lauras on Civet AI. Um, in this case, I have my model in here, which I've trained on my uh, artwork, and I have also put my face in here as well. Once that is done, we can click that off. We can go to add. We can drop the drop down, and we'll see here my face right here. And this is what we want to do. I'm going to drop the strength back on this. I'm going to go to 90%. Once that is done, I'm happy. I'm going to leave these as their default. We're going to hit apply. Once we click this one, oh, see there's two there. Uh, but, but, but I didn't realize I already had one made. So we'll just come through and find out which is which. One doesn't have a Laura. So happy little mistake because we can delete this one easily by doing this. And then we can check our other one here, which we can see the Laura is applied to press OK. So then we can come up here and we can come on down to my face and then we can type in the description of it. So um, we'll do that. OK, I've just come across here and I'll put solo male, short brown hair, uh, facial hair. So we want to put a little comma in there. Facial hair, glasses, brown leather jacket. And I'm just going to put the word close up focused. From there. We can click on generate. Now, of course, you can use this with pose as well if you wanted to. Uh, you can use this any way you like. And this is the way to get those consistent faces. Uh, the other thing is you can create Laura's on clothing. If you're doing clothing, I recommend just uh, don't do the head of it. Because if you train it with the head, then the AI is also going to incorporate that in. And um, there are a lot of Lauras on Civet AI, uh, which have been trained for clothing, but they've left the head in there, uh, say Superman, for example. So with that Laura, you, it ends up overriding your face and it's very hard to find the mix in between. So you're better off training a Laura just on clothing and making sure that you crop the head off. And then you can use a face Laura, like I'm using now, and then you can use a clothing Laura. And if you get those consistencies, you'll get it the same every single time. So we can do this and we can just click this over and over and over again, and we'll get consistent images. So we'll do six renders here and we'll let those run. 
and I'll skip forward. Uh, that way you don't have to uh, put up with the painstaking um, wait time of my old GTX 1070 whilst it is encoding at the same time with the um, with the graphics card, which makes it a lot longer. So get right back to it. Okay, so here we are. I've generated all the images here. And we can see just from the thumbnails that they're all the same. They're all me. And that is how we keep the consistent. Now, I did go through and change a couple of things here because I noticed the uh, quality wasn't the highest. So I made sure to uh, add on high quality, 4K. Um, I increased the bookcase there. And you can do that too. You could um, type in something like type in vector lighting and then if you wanted to you can highlight that word now with the uh, the latest plugins you can hold control down and then you can give it weight by pressing the arrow up or the arrow down key so you can tell it how much weight that you actually want on that which i added to the bookcase to make sure that the bookcase started to appear more um, heavily in the images and we can see that there and we can see all these are consistent same face all the way through so and that's how we um that's how we do it that's how we get a consistent character if you want the same character over and over if you've if you've used the uh, ai diffusion and you've uh, been generating uh, say an animated character and the ai will lock usually so if you've typed in um blonde hair male athletic um, you know, wearing a business suit and you generate the first one, the AI will usually stick to the first one and do uh, slight changes to it. Uh, another thing you can do is put a name at the beginning and use letters in, and numbers to create a, a name of a character and then use that name in every single prompt and put um, the person and then that name in a and then go on from there um, in a photo, sitting, you know, at a desk and so forth. And then every single one you render, it will start looking at that. Of the, it's using a name here. This must be the same person and it will stick to that consistent image. Then if you get the consistent image enough of that, you won't be able to repeat it after you close out because that will flush your, um, your AI file. The, so that brain is essentially wiped. By generating enough of those images, you get 10 of them and you get the different positions and the style, then you can use those images to create a Laura to create that face over and over again. So and that's how we go through and do a consistent face. And as I said, you can do that with uh, clothing as well. Just if you're doing clothing, don't have a head on it. Make sure that it is from the neck down. Otherwise, that uh, clothing model will end up overriding the um, the face that you're trying to use. And you just simply add them as extra lauras. So you'd come in and you'd come through and I could put my style on there, for example. And then you can just do that and so forth. And then you can remove them just by hitting the delete key as well. So it's as easy as that. So there it is, that's Krita and how to uh, use a Laura file of a trained face to get that consistent image over and over and over again. So you've got that uh, same person. Um, now you can use this for animation or whatever you need. Um, if you've watched enough of my videos, you'll know that I'm actually disabled and I have a buggered arm and buggered body. And uh, I used to do art, but my condition's gotten a lot worse. So I've been able to take a lot of that thanks to AI, which has uh, not existed that long for uh, public versions of this. Uh, August 2022, I think was the first Stable Diffusion public release. And we're seeing improvements and hopefully it will improve more and more. I'd love to see the ability to uh, do a an alpha of a translucent background so you can just have that character with no background behind them so you can build up your layers. Uh, that is a very hard one to do. Uh, usually you try to generate something like a um, a character and then do the white background and then go through and use something like, um, I think Photop has a, a background eraser. I know, um, unfortunately, Krita doesn't. Perhaps uh, someone 
that makes AI add-ons for Creedum might come through and make an AI background remover. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. So everything's all in one. But basically, use a background eraser and you build your layers up and then you apply your AI in a lower level. And I'll get more into that later on and do a, um, a video on how I build up my images. But this one today is how to do the face. Uh, go over and watch the Koya video. Um, I'm going to be updating the description in that to add a video from the creator of that uh, Koya program um, on how to have multiple versions of Python installed. That way the uh, Koya doesn't have as big a problems as what some people are actually finding out there. So um, go back and take a look at the description and get that video uh, to the actual creator and watch that video on installing uh, multiple versions of Python so um, Koya has less of a, uh, a hissy fit. And of course, don't forget to share this video. Uh, hopefully it will help other people. And like, liking helps push this video out to other people to learn about it. Subscribe and get the bell on for notifications so you can see the upcoming videos. There is one coming up to uh, explain the models more in depth and um, how the different samplers affect it and how Civit AI to look for what you're actually using and explain that a little bit better so you have more of an understanding because I am getting asked that quite a bit. So like, subscribe, get the bell on. And I will see you in the next Stream Tabulous video. Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it would really help me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end. And I will see you in the next video.